Hey guys, so in today's episode I'm gonna share with you guys a few tips of high level Pokemon Go players and a few mistakes that were made all across the board. So in this way, you start your Pokemon Go journey the right way. So the very first thing is Pokemon Go has no built in chat. There is a secondary app that you can download called Pokemon Go Chat. It is available on Androids and it will be available on iOS by Thursday. So guys, make sure you download this app. It's going to help you guys a lot during your Pokemon Go journey. Now, let's say you've just started your Pokemon Go journey and you've just logged into the game. You will see your first three starters as you log in. Now, here's the first mistake most people make. If you do not see all three of them, do not catch any. If you want to choose your starter, you have to walk around a little bit until you find the one you actually want. Guys, if you do catch any of the starters, all other two will disappear. But either way, the starter is not something you have to worry about because it would soon be useless. Trust me guys, I will talk more about this later on the video. Okay, so if you had a chance to actually earn some Pokemon coins or actually spend some money on the game, I would advise you right now to just buy a few lucky eggs. Even though incense and lure patch will also help you on your journey, lucky eggs are the most important items as you start your Pokemon Go. So here's an example on why you should use lucky egg at the beginning of your journey. Every new Pokemon you catch that you did not have on your Pokedex will get you 500 experience bonus. If you had your lucky egg with you, that will be 1000. So guys, just by having lucky egg, you're getting 500 extra experience points. That does not sound like much, but it is guys. Experience is very hard to come by. For an example, for beating a Pokemon gym, wasting items and the health of your Pokemon, you only earn 100 experience points. So that's how you can see how important lucky egg is at the beginning of the game. Another very important thing, it's really throwing the ball well. And I do have a tutorial that is down by the description on how you can earn excellent throws, great throws, nice throw, curved throws, and how that works. So if you want to check that out, it will be down by the description. Okay, so whether you had lucky eggs or not, you are going to your first Pokestop. At Pokestops, you'll be able to find Pokeballs, Revives, Potions, and even Pokemon Eggs. Now if you didn't know, Pokestops have a cooldown of around 5 minutes. So a good way is to plan ahead. Guys, find a Pokestop that has a nearby Pokestop of 5 minutes walk or less. This way, you can keep switching from one Pokestop to the other and earning items every 5 minutes. Now if you did have a bit of money invested in the game, you could use a lure patch in any of the Pokestops and it will draw Pokemons to you and this way you won't have to walk at all. But it kind of loses the purpose of the game. I still like the walking better and you can catch just about the same amount of Pokemon if you're walking as if you're using Lord Patch. But as you can see from the image, by using a combination of Incense and Lord Patch, it's possible to have many Pokemons all around you. As you can see by this picture, this guy has 10 Pokemons all around him for him to catch. If he didn't spend any money on Pokeballs, he could run out of Pokeballs really quickly. So it is important to visit different Pokestops and get more items. Now let's go back to your starter and weaker Pokemon. Now guys, even though you might be tempted to waste candies and Stardust on those weak Pokemons, please don't. Because soon enough, you will start finding randomly high CP Pokemons of the last evolution. And for those Pokemon, you definitely will need more Stardust and more candies. It is a common mistake made by a lot of players. You spend your candies trying to evolve Pokemons that you're not going to use. And then when you have the final evolution of the Pokemon, you do not have any more candies or even Stardust to level up. So guys, save all your items. Do not spend anything. So the last thing I've left for this video is avoid gems at all costs. Gems will be very expensive at the beginning. If you try to battle enemy gems, you will waste potions on weak Pokemons, you will waste revives, and you will need those items later. So my advice here is try to go as fast as you can 
find gems that are not taken over, the great gems, place a weak Pokemon there, or find gems that are owned by your own team and place your Pokemon there. You do not need to have the highest CP Pokemon at that gym in order to earn the Defender bonus. As long as you have one Pokemon there, you will still earn it. So find 10 gyms, do not, do not, do not place your strongest Pokemon guys. A lot of other beta testers made this mistake. You do not want to place your strongest Pokemon because you will need it to battle later. So as we've seen an announcement made by John Hankey today, it is very important to team up with friends. So gather your friends, team up in order to beat a gym. Don't try to be the solo hero because you will waste more than you will gain. So the main focus of the game is team up. So I hope you enjoyed these tips. There are other tips in a previous video that will also be on the description on how you can level up really fast in Pokemon Go and obviously the how to throw effectively in Pokemon Go. So for now guys, please subscribe, stay tuned for more tutorials and daily gameplays once the game is released. I thank you all and train on.